Pialio no wan po yowan ke nihki inistoke naman tikchiwase a titlamise to tlamachtilis pampani a pampani tlamachtilis tlamis naman a naman timomachtise trenika ahkia tlen a keman kanin wan kenke. Hi everyone, today we're gonna be learning um, uh, who, what, when, where, why. And this class is going to be our last class for this course, for course number one. Um, in a couple of weeks, in about six weeks, I will start course number two. So I'm gonna take a little mini spring break <laughs> for all of you because you know I've been busy, tired. Maybe you see the bags under my eyes or maybe you don't, <laughs> but um, uh, I think a good break will be good enough for you all to review all the homework. For this specific class, I'm going to make the homework be extra uh, longer than usual. You're going to see that in this class, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm including all kinds of useful like phrases or at least uh, words that are related to who, what, when, where, why. And I'm going to make the homeworks have a lot of those words in there, as well as overall overview or review of the class. So this class, this homework for this last class is going to be longer, and hopefully you'll be able to use it to learn and practice in the next six weeks. I heard that you all uh, made a, a Nawat, um, what is it, like a study group? Congratulations. That's the best way to learn something is to practice it with people that you know, and it sticks longer when you practice with other people. So congratulations. If you have any questions, you let me know. Today, we're going to talk about who, what, when, where, why, and let me share my screen so you can see the presentation. Oh, full screen. All right. Or not. Uh, okay, well, ignore the part where, <laughs> where it says what you will learn because clearly I didn't change it correctly. And I meant to change it. And this is not letting me use. Uh -huh. They changed the, the Google and it, okay. All right, so it's gonna be who, what, <coughs> Who, what, when, where, why? Uh, ignore this slide because I forgot to change it. <laughs> but essentially, it's who, what, when, where, why. We're going to learn those words in question form, but we're also going to learn words related to them. All right, so we're going to start. Inin momachtiket momachtia. Inin momachtiket momachtia. Inin momachtiket momachtia. Inin temachtiket. A temachtia. Inin temachtiket temachtia. Inin mihtotiket mihtotia. Inin mihtotiket mihtotia. Inin sanilohket saniloa. Inin sanilohket saniloa. Inin tlama tlanamakahket. Tlanamaka. Inin tlanamaka ket tlanamaka. Right? So just so you, for you to view this again. Inin momachtiket momachtia. Inin temachtiket temachtia. Inin mihtotiket mihtotia. Inin sanilohket saniloa. Okay. Oh, I forgot inin tlanamaka ket tlanamaka. I don't know why I forgot it. But now I'm going to ask you, ahkia kichiwa. Ahkia is, is the word that you should um, focus on. Ahkia kichiwa. And hopefully you already know what um, kichiwa means. But ahkia kichiwa, who does it? Ahkia kichiwa. OK? Ahkia tlanamaka. Ahkia Tlanamaka. 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 Uh, very close, very close. It's, it's, um, it's a, you missing one syllable in there. Um, Tlanamaka. 
So it's the word tlanamaka. And then this word tlanamaka is the past tense. I know you don't know that. It's fine. You will learn that in course number two. That's what we're going to start with, the past tense. Course number two is going to focus on all the tenses. But anyways, tlanamakaket is this ininse tlanamakaket. Kuali. Ahkia momachtia. Momach. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, shia, shia. Inina momach ticket. Mm-hmm. Quali. Mm-hmm. Aha. Inin momach ticket. Momach tia. Quali. Ahkia mitotia. Ahkia mitoticket. Mm-hmm. Mitoticket. Mitotia. Quali. Ahkia te match tia. In the match ticket. Quali. In the match ticket, the match tia. Quali. Ahkia saniloa. In in saniloket. Quali. Uh -huh. In in saniloket, saniloa. Okay, so the focus of that lesson it was really the word just ahkia. Now, ahkia has that sense of a question like, who is doing this? but it can also be used as like the answer, the person who does this, etc. But usually you're gonna just see it as the question, who? Ahkia, ahkia momachtia, ahkia temachtia, etc. This ahkia, you'll notice that Huasteca tends to add a lot of yas to words that other varieties don't add. So in other varieties, you might see them say, instead of ahkia, they just say ahkin. Without, without, with an N here and not a Y. So this ahkia is the Huasteca way to say it, but other varieties might say akin or ahkin. Akin kichiwa, who does it? So that's a slight variety, but if you see a ya, it's usually coming from Huasteca. Um, now what has, I, you'll see that in all these slides, I, I wrote as many related words as possible that I could think of. So, um, related to this. So for example, ahkia um, is who, right? But we have here, everyone is nochime, coming from the word nochi, all, and nochime, everyone. So maybe in, I haven't yet in my intros, maybe I have, I haven't paid attention. I say like piali nochime. <clears throat> we'll see how that's used uh, in a future slide. Um, ashaka, no one. So this is from ash and aka. Now what the if you remember when I taught you at the beginning we taught that I taught you that te machtia the te means someone you do an action to someone so te machtia means to teach someone something. Well, se akahia now what does have a separate word to just say the word someone, and that word is se akahia. At least in Huasteca it's se akahia. It might be different in other varieties, but this is literally one and a, a person, so someone, this is, this is se akahia. And uh, Nahuatl does also have a way to say whoever. So in Nahuatl, whenever you wanna say like whichever or whoever, you're always, except for some exceptions, you're gonna add weli. So ahkia weli is whoever, ahkia weli. Adding this weli makes it like whichever, whoever, wherever, etc. Ahkia weli. So Akia Gweli, whoever. Okay, so with this word nochi, which means all, this word nochi can be used with either singular or plural. So you could say nochi uh, masegualme, or you could say nochime masegualme. In Nahuatl, you could use either nochi or nochime. But if you're talking about people, um, because you can um, pluralize animate, um, uh, animate nouns, Nochime can has that plural form. So you say nochi or nochime, depending on if that noun can be pluralized or not, the one that follows. So if you say nochi at all the water, or nochime masewalme, all the people, nochime um, michime, all the fishes. But you could also say nochi masewalme, nochi michime, etc. Um, this nochi can also be, you can also put those prefixes in front of it to make it mean uh, all of us. So 
uh, you could say ti for we, and nochi, all, and me. Tinochime means all of us. Todos nosotros, tinochime. And maybe you've paid attention in some of my intros, I say uh, piali y nochime, or that's saying hello, all of you. Todos ustedes, you all, y nochime. So putting that prefix of in for y'all and me for plural, y nochime, that means all of you, all of y'all. And nochime, uh, it means all or all of them as uh, him or her or they, sorry, they. So this noche can be used, uh, you can put those prefixes in front to mean um, all, all of us, all of them, etc. All right, if you were ever wondering how you say two of us, both of us, um, now what? Now what to say both? You say noche ome. So you say like all of, all both, all two. You're literally saying like all two of them, noche ome. So that's how you say both in Nahuatl. And the numbers, any of the numbers in Nahuatl that you can say up to whatever number you want to say, you can uh, put those prefix in front of it as well and make it mean um, two of us, three of us, etc. So we have tiome means the two of us, tieyime, the three of us, Inawime, the four of y'all. Inmaquilme, the five of y'all. Um, if you wanted to say all four or all four of them, you would say nochi nawi. Nochi nawi. So just like nochiome, both of them, um, you could also say nochi nawi, the four of them, all four of them. So you can kind of see how you would construct these phrases in Nahuatl, if you've been wondering. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you to unmute. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask you, Tlenki Chihuahua. All right, Tlenki Chihuahua. Tlenki, oh, Tlenki Chihuahua, Tlanamakaket. Oh, sorry, Tlenki Chihuahua, na Tlanamakaket. Okay, no one answered, but Tlanamakaket, Tlanamaka. So, Tlenkichiwa, what does he do? Tlanamaka. Kuali. Tlenkichiwa momachtiket. Momachtia. Uh -huh. uh, so, this is just getting used to this phrase, Tlen. <laughs> and you are, you might already know, it, it's so common. Um, uh, momachtiket, momachtia. Tlenkichiwa uh, mitotiket. Mi totia. Tlenki chihuahua te machtiket. Te machtiket. Te machtia. Te machtia. Kuali. Tlenki chihuahua sanilohket. Saniloa. Sanilohket, saniloa. Kuali. Aha. Ok, so tlen was... Do you have a question? Oh, I thought somebody had a question. Ok. So this word tlen, um, it actually has many meanings, but the primary meaning is what? And it has that sense of, a, of a, when you want to ask it as a question, like, what are you doing? As in the previous example, tlen kichiwa, what, uh, what was that person doing? But also it could have that sense of what I am doing is, et cetera, et cetera. So it can be the question or it can be the answer. Um, so you, we learned nochi is everything. It can mean all or everything. This is nochi. Ashtlen is nothing. So it's literally no what, <laughs> no what, but it translates as nothing. Ashtlen. So you may have heard um, when I say, you say trasocamati, I say ashtlen. Well, that's really a borrowing from, uh, from Spanish. So, you know, when you say gracias and they say uh, de nada, uh, they, they, this is a more modern um, construction of saying thank you and then the response would be Ashtlen. However, that's not the traditional way that Nawa speakers um, used to speak. So essentially, they never really say Tlazokamati. When you say Tlazokamati, they generally just say, oh, good, like, okay. They don't actually say Ashtlen, but because of the influence of Spanish, some might respond to you with Ashtlen. 
And it's more common for them to say, which is more like, I thank you. And they might, they might just say, or yes, they might just respond, yes, instead of saying, thank you, or, or it's nothing, they might just say, <laughs> yes. So that's the more traditional answer is, is actually just kena or bueno or whatever. Like that's like okay is basically what they would answer rather than ashtlen, but ashtlen is coming from Spanish and you might actually hear them say ashtlen too. Uh, setlamantli, it means something, just like seakajia means someone, setlamantli means something. And if you add weli to tlen, it becomes whatever. So tlen weli is whatever. Whatever you're doing, tlen weli tikchiwa, whatever. So just adding this weli makes it an ever. Whoever, sea cajia, whatever, tlen weli. Or sorry, whoever is ahia weli and whatever is tlen weli. So weli is, is the word you should uh, remember for ever or whatever. But this word tlen, like I told you, it has many, many, many uses. And it's not just the use of what. So one of the uses, uh, like I said, you could ask it as a question, like, what are you doing? Tlen tichiwa. But it could also be part of the answer as the thing that I have, the thing that I am doing, you could you would respond like this. So if I say, what do you have? Tlentikpia, what do you have? And you would say, Tlentikpia, what I have is, and then you would say whatever you had, right? What I have. So this tlen is also like the answer, the, the thing that you have, the what that you have. Um, tlen can also be used as of, like you learned like a couple uh, last lesson so even this is a borrowing from spanish from the word de and so um instead of saying de they just say tlen so you might think that they're saying what but in that context they're not actually saying what they're saying of and so uh another example is um this could also be translated as a person who does something so kind of like in Spanish, when you say el que duerme, el que estudia, that, that meaning of que, el que, that same meaning trans, uh, they use in Huasteca Nahuatl. So here I have this example, tlacat tlen momachtia. So this would be translated as the man who studies. And you're thinking, okay, well, this tlen is not a person. This is a what, right? But it does, this is how you would construct the, the guy who uh, studies. And in fact, you could even take away the word tlacat and just say tlen momachtia, just tlen momachtia, and it still is understood as the person who studies. And you don't know if it's a guy or a, or a, a woman, but um, if you just trans, if you just take off the, uh, tl uh, the tlacat and you just say tlen momachtia, it's understood as the person who studies. Okay, and um, mm -hmm. yes. so it's not common to exchange that tlen for akia. So tlakat akia momashtia. Um, in okay, in classical, yes, in Huasteca, no. So even though I wrote it, and I I might have to take that back on the other slide, it's more common for them to say tlakat tlen momashtia, not tlakat akia momashtia. But in classical Nahuatl, this would be akin momashtia. And that's why I kind of said that, but in Huasteca Nahuatl, they don't do that. They, they would say tlen momashtia. But in classical, it would be akin momashtia. Really? In, in akin momashtia. They would say like that, in akin momashtia, or they would say in momashtia. And that is also understood as the person who studies in momachtia, just the in or in akin momachtia. So it kind of is, but it doesn't actually apply to Huastecanawat. And then Tlamantli Tlen Nikpia. So here, this, this Tlen is translated as a witch, the thing that quote unquote or which I have. Tlamantli Tlen Nikpia, the thing that I have, the thing which I have. Uh, so not, tlen has a lot of uses and perhaps we could do a whole lesson on just learning how to use tlen correctly. And maybe that could be a future lesson. But uh, tlen is very uh, complicated and I try to condense it and maybe I forgot some meanings in here. Okay, so here's some example. Tlaka tlen momachtia. Siwat tlen temachtia. 
Siwatl Tlen Mistotía and Siwatl Tlen Saniloa. Tlacat Tlen Tlanamaca. So all of these are saying like the man who does this, or or I guess you could translate it as which sells. Tlacat Tlen Tlanamaca, the guy which sells, but it sounds kind of weird in, in English. It would be like the guy who sells, but they would say Tlen there. Okay, another, so another meaning of tlen that I told you is the, is the meaning of of, and that meaning of of, of um, can be used in dates. So if you wanted to talk about, oh, I wrote this yesterday, so I could, you wrote yesterday's date, <laughs> but yesterday's date was, um, uh, chic, uh, matlatli one said, tlen marzo, metli, tlen, 2021, shiwit. And so they, well, I could have probably said once because they generally use um, Spanish numbers, up, but up to number 20, they, they use uh, Nahuatl numbers. So you could say, Matlatli one said, Tlen Marzo Metzli, Tlen 2021, Shiwik. This is how we say yesterday's date, March, um, March 11th. And so basically, this is very similar to how you would say this in Spanish. Once de Marzo de 2021. Um, this, so this tlen is serving the function of the de, and this is how you would say the date. Notice too that um, after the month they say metzli. So metzli is how you say month. Marzo metzli, the month of March. Um, uh, April, abril metzli. They use the Spanish word because uh, if you remember the the. On um, Aztecs and the Nahua speaking people, they used to have a different calendar and their calendar doesn't correspond. And so they just use the Spanish words. So Marzo Metzli, March, Abril Metzli, um, uh, what's the, I don't remember, Mayo Metzli, and then 2021, this number is, is high, so they'll use the Spanish word, 2021, and then Shiwit, um, that's the same, the year. So 2021 Shiwit, the year 2021. Okay, so uh, this is to point out that in the past, uh, if you go two or three lessons back, you'll see that I gave you, um, I gave you an example of, um, of how to construct, take two nouns and join them together. So like, for example, in this word, I'm trying to give you, um, I'm trying to give you the example of, two ways to construct this same idea, kind of. So here you could say, Amoshli Tlentlamachtilistli. The book of the lesson is really like what, now what, you can construct it this way. This is a, using this Tlen as the meaning of of. Or if you learned from last two, I don't remember how many uh, lessons ago, I taught you you could combine these two words if you wanted to say like lesson book. So. This tlen substitutes, or, or you can use it to break up bigger words like tlamachtilis amoshtli. This tlamachtilis amoshtli would be like lesson book, because tlamachtilisli means lesson. So tlamachtilis amoshtli, lesson book. But you could write it as amoshtli tlen tlamachtilisli to mean the book of the lesson. So it's a little bit clunk, clunkier. But um, you'll see that sometimes because the words can be really long in Nahuatl, you might see native speakers just split it up. Like if you want to say like, I don't know, the teacher's lesson book, then you're, you're, you can construct it in Nahuatl and say the teacher's lesson book. So temachtika tlamachtilis amoshtli, that would be one word in Nahuatl, the teacher's lesson book. But the, you could also split it up as, um, uh, I, uh, I, uh, there's multiple ways. or amoshli tlentlamachtilistli tlentlamachtiket or temachtiket. I mean, there's actually multiple ways you could split it up, and so you might see them split it up by using tlen to mean of 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 to add extra ofs, I guess. Okay. <laughs> to um, now we're gonna talk about uh, when. So when is keman? Now keman is the way that we say it in Huasteca Nahuatl. So keman is when as a question and also when as an answer, like the time when I did this. Uh, this happened when blah, blah, blah. So this is the question and the answer. Um, but 
just know that other varieties use a different word. So keman, the other varieties will still understand keman because they do use it as a question as when, but the answer, which is like, when I did this, when I did that, they might use a different word, which is ihquak. I didn't write it in here because in Huastecanawa they use keman for both, but in uh, other varieties they say ihquak, ihquak. Okay, uh, nochipa, always, <laughs> nochipa. Ashkeman is never, so it's basically the negation of keman, ash, keman, never. Uh, to say sometimes, you have multiple options. You could say kemantika, kemanya, or kemansin. All three of these mean sometimes. I tend to use the word kemantika the most, or kemanya, but kemansin or kemantika, kemanya, they all mean sometimes. Kemanweli, if you add the weli to it, it means whenever. Kemanweli. And kemaniki is asking you when exactly, like in what specific time or be very specific. So you can ask keman or kemanihki, when exactly. Okay, and now I get, I'm gonna give you words related to time. So the word for time in Nahuatl is, ooh, I wrote kwawit. It's not kwawit, I need to change that. Kwawit is tree. <laughs> Kawit is the word. I, I, I might've mistyped it. Kawit is time, kwawit is tree <laughs> or stick. So kawit is time. So um, in Nahuatl, these are all the phrases you could potentially use. Tonayan, during the day. Tiotlak, it means during the afternoon. You could add ika if you want to, if you don't have to. Ika tlayowa, during the night. Um, if you wanna say something happened all day, you would say semilwik. Semilwit. This word ilwit was the old, um, uh, the old way to say day in like uh, classical times. They would say ilwit instead of tonati, which is what we say now, tonati for day. But semilwit literally translated as one day or all, like basically the entire day. And you'll learn later that this prefix sen, C E N, um, here it appears as sem. Uh, this means like entire. So if you put this, this prefix in front of like a noun, it means the entire thing. So semilwit means the entire day. Or um, you can even put this in front of um, verbs, this prefix sen, and it means like completely, to do something completely. So if you say tlakwa is to eat, but if you say sen tlakwa, it means to eat entirely or to eat completely. So this sen is, um, is, a, is a very useful prefix. Okay, mohmostla, um, this word mohmostla means every day. And it really comes from this word mostla. Mostla means tomorrow. And saying mohmostla is kind of like saying tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow because you'll learn that reduplicating any syllable in Nahuatl in front of verbs or in, in certain nouns, it, mean, it means that it's an action is, continu is continuous. So right here we're saying momostla. Um, it's literally it's saying like tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. <laughs> but it means it translates as every day. Uh, yalwaya is yesterday. In some varieties they, they just say yalwa. So in Huasteca they add the extra ya. So yalwaya is yesterday or yalwa. Yalwa or yalwaya. Huitla is the day after tomorrow whereas Huitlaya is the day before yesterday. So Nahuatl does have those words. Huitla, the day after tomorrow. Huitlaya, the day before yesterday. So Yalwaya and then Huitlaya and Mostla and Huitla. I know these are a little bit confusing, but if you can remember that Huitlaya, this ya means it already happened. And that's one of the translations of ya, like in Spanish, ya pasó. Nahuatl also uses the word ya for already. So huiplaya is easier to remember if you just think, oh, it already happened, huiplaya, versus huipla hasn't happened yet. Okay, you can also say the time in Nahuatl. So for example, um, oh, I keep, I keep mistyping. It should not be kawit, 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 kawit. I did this at like 11, so. Pilka Witsin. Pilka Witsin. Aha, there we go. 
Okay, we're back. Uh, so if you want to say the time in Nahuatl, you just say the word, the number, and the word kawit. So this kawit, it means time, but it also means like an, the hour, an hour. So if you want to say four o'clock, you would say nawi kawit, nawi kawit. Four, it is literally saying four time, but it translates as like the fourth hour. So it's four o'clock, nawi kawit. You want to say 4.30, you say nawi one tlaxco, four and a half, nawi one tlaxco, kawit. If you want to say let's meet at, you would say ipan, at, ipan nawi kawit at four o'clock. The word for minutes is, it translates as little hour. <laughs> okay, so to say minutes, you would say pilkawitzin. Pilkawitzin. If you remember from our class, you can make anything small by adding pil and sin. So this kawit is an hour and pilkawitzin is a minute. So now we pilkawitzin, four minutes. And uh, as you saw, you can um, create, uh, you, can, you can talk about specific dates by adding this tlen to mean up. So now we tlen marzo metzli, fourth of March. Now we tlen marzo metzli. And here I have the breakdown. Um, the reason I put so many words, I know you're not gonna know these all, all right away, but I put them all here for your future reference. So, uh, so for example, if you wanna start with minute, it would be pilkawitzin. For um, hour, it's kawit. Tonati is day. So it literally translates as sun, tonati. So it does mean sun, but it also means day. So setonati, one day, uh, ometonati, two days, egitonati, three days, et cetera, et cetera. They don't have a word for week, like a week, but they use the word from Spanish. And for some reason it, it became masculine. <laughs> oh, yeah, they added the O instead of the A. So they don't say semana, they say semano. Se semano, one week. Ome semano, two weeks. Egi semano, three weeks. Notice that I'm not pluralizing the semano because it's an inanimate object. So, maquili semano, five weeks, etc. Metzli, it comes from the word for moon. And just like the word month also comes from the word for moon. And it means month. Metzli, moon, it means moon and month. Shiwit, it means year, but it also has the meaning of... Um, of plant, uh, it, to say the word plant is shiwit. So shiwit is year and plant. Naman is how you say today. It also means now. So just like in Spanish, the word ahora means today, and it also means now. So naman has the same meaning. Other varieties may not say naman. They might say aman, or they might say ashkan. Ashkan. So naman or ashkan are the more common ones. If you want to say right now, you would say namansin, namansin. So notice this scene is making it small. And there's a theory that, that says that um, the reason that Mexicans say ahorita is coming from, um, from Nahuatl because um, they, that's how they say right now is namansin, a little now. <laughs> Just like um, in, in Mexican Spanish, we say ahora versus ahorita. All right. Uh, this, this is a whole day. Uh, this is how you say all the words for during the day and I try to make them logical. So Tlaxcoyowal, ooh, this is missing an H. Tlaxcoyowal is, is midnight, it literally like half of the night. This, is, this should be an H right there, Tlaxcoyowal. Tlaxcoyowal, half of the night, but that's how they say midnight. And then between, I guess I'm missing some hours there, but between three and five, it's Cualcan. So like super early, three to five a.m. Yowatzinko is the morning before the sun comes up. Yowatzinko. Atlasco uh, Tonayan is nine a.m. to eleven a.m. And Tlasco Tona is noon, literally half of the sun or half of the half of the warmth is what it's saying. Tlasco Tona. And Teotlac is afternoon, and Tlayowa is night, from six to eleven. And then you go again through your cycle. Now it's midnight again. Okay.
Uh, they might seek it. Mm -hmm. A quick question. Yes. So if someone wants to ask the time, would they say Tlen Kawit? Tlen Kawit. In fact, that's what I'm going to ask you next. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, you would say Tlen Kawit. What time? Tlen Kawit. Yep, you got it. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, that's coming in like three or four slides. But yes, yes. Uh huh. Uh, kanin is the word for where as a question. But in Nahuatl, they made, make a distinction between the question and the answer. So kanin is where is it versus kampa is the answer. Like it is where this happens. It is where I sleep. They wouldn't say kanin, they would say kampa. Uh -huh, okay. To say everywhere, nochi kanahia, literally all places, nochi kanahia. This word kanahia means place. So nochi kanahia is every place, everywhere. No chikanahia. Ashika means nowhere. Sekanahia, a place or somewhere. And Kampaweli is wherever. So this is using this Kampa and Weli. Kampaweli, wherever. Kuali. All right. So this is to show you that um, when you ask the question, you're using Kanin. So Kanin ti itztok, where are you? Versus Ni itztok, Kampa onka miak shochi. I am where there are many flowers. So the answer to the question is Kampa, not Kanin. Kanin is the question. And some varieties don't say Kanin, they just say Kan, C A N, Kan. Um, Guerrero says Kanon, uh, but they all sound very similar. Kan or Kanin or Kanon, etc. Kanke is another variety. They say Kanke. Kanke. Okay. Kanin ti itztok. So I'm going to ask you, Kanin ti itztok. I guess I only have, uh, what, I think three or four students, but um, I'm going to ask you individually, and then you don't have to say your name because maybe you're hiding from, I don't know, whatever you're hiding from. I'm going to ask you, Kanin ti itztok, one tlen kawit naman. Okay. So I'm going to answer the question first for myself. Kanin ti itztok, tlen kawit naman. Naman na ni itztok Los Angeles al Tepet. Juan Naman, uh, well, I thought I was going to finish in about an hour, so I put uh, um, uh, Chikweyi Kawit, but Naman uh, Chikome Kawit Nikan. So now, whoever wants to answer this question, Kanin ti itztok, Juan Tlen Kawit Naman. Ni itztok Long Beach al Tepet. Uh, Len kawit no. naman. Nepa. Neka, sorry. Len kawit naman neka. You forgot the time? <laughs> or your microphone cut off? I don't know. Oh, I was trying, I was figuring out how to say it. <laughs> oh. It's 7.46. That's a hard one to say. Okay, I haven't done the class on the numbers higher than um, 20, but probably they would just say it in Spanish. But I can tell you the number for 46. So be, would it be a Chicome? Mm -hmm. um, I think I know a Chicome. Gosh, no. Uh, I don't know. What is it? Ompowali um, Wanchikwase. Ompowali um, is uh, 40. So the number system is based on 20. And so 2 times 20 is 40. So they say Ompowali, um, 2 counts. Ompowali um, Wanchikwase and 6. Oh, well, now it's seven. <laughs> Kawi. But at that time it was six. It would be Ompowali Chikwase. Uh -huh. No. So Chikome, so you first have to say seven. So Chikome, one Ompowali, one Chikwase. Chikome, one Ompowali. Mm -hmm. Chikome, Kwali. Uh, Kawi. Kawi. Uh -huh. Kena. Kena. Kwali. Uh, who wants to answer me? Who wants to answer me? 
Nichnan. Nichnan kilis. Sorry, I used the wrong word. Tlatlanilis is to ask. Nankilia is to answer. Ni itzto tukson al tepet. Aha. Naman makwali Juan Nawi Kawit. Oh, you mean Chiknawi? Um, I wanted to say nine. Aha, uh -huh, Chiknawi. Oh, okay. Because you said five and four. Five and four is nine. So you meant Chiknawi. Okay. Kuali, mm -hmm. Tazakamati. Sayok, someone else? Sayok? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Let me see. Ni uh, Eatstock. Uh, Fraser Park, uh, California, Altepet. Uh, uh huh. And for the time, let's see. And and uh, Ika Tlayowa, would that work? <laughs> to yeah, Ika Tlayowa during the night, during the evening, during the night, which is now. Ika Tlayowa, Kuali. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. So the word for why in Nahuatl, there's two words, and one of them is more common in Huasteca, and one of them is more common generally. The word that I used here is tleika. That's the one that's most used generally in Nahuatl. But um, in Huasteca Nahuatl, they tend to ask you kenke. Kenke, why? But tleika is still understood and it is still also used. The reason I bring up tleika is like I said, is other varieties use tleika more. They might say tleika or tleika or tleika, but it's all, it all sounds kind of like tleika. And um, kenke is the Huasteca way, kenke. Why? And for because it's pampa. And I really like the word pampa. I think it sounds nice. <laughs> pampa. Kenke. Pampa. Why? Because. Kenke. Pampa. You want to say, why not? <laughs> Kenke ashkana. Why not? And uh, no, no problem or it doesn't matter. Like, no te preocupes. Don't worry about it. It would be this phrase, ashkeniki. Like, it doesn't matter. No importa. Uh, we don't care, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. Ashkenihki, no problem. That's how you could say something like that. And just because, if you want to say just because, Ashkenke, now that one doesn't really make sense to me because you're literally saying like, not why. <laughs> but you know, there's phrases in a lot of languages that don't make sense. So if you want to say just because, you would say Ashkenke. And if you want to say that's why, or, or therefore, or because of this, you would say Yehka. Yehka is the Huasteca way of saying that's why, but other varieties say some kind of um, different, they, they say something different depending on their variety. The longest one is, this is, I'm borrowing this one is from classical, they say Yehuat Ika. It means like with it or with, yeah, basically with it. Yehuat Ika, but you might hear other varieties say Yehika, Yehka, um, those are the ones, or yeah, yeah, yehika. I would, you might hear them say yehika, but in our variety, yehika got shortened into yehka. Yeah, but it's yehika, which is a short version of yehuat ika, with it, but it translates as that's why. Por eso, or therefore, therefore this. <clears throat> okay. So, siwat mayana. Siwatl Mayana. Yehka Tlakwa. Okay, I hope that's clear. <laughs> Siwatl Mayana. Mm, she, she has this desire of Mayana. Siwat Mayana. Yehka Tlakwa. Tlakat Amiki. Tlakat Amiki. Tlakat Amiki. Yehka Tlaoni. Okay, so you remember what Yehka means, right? Tlakat Amiki Yehka Tlaoni. One, 
Konetsin Kochmiki, Konetsin Kochmiki, Yehka Kochi, Yehka Kochi. All right, I'm gonna say it again. Siwat Mayana, Yehka Tlakwa, Tlakat Amiki, Yehka Tlaoni. Konetsin kochmiki yehka kochi. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you tleika or kenke. Well, I'm going to ask you whichever one I feel like at the moment, but <laughs> tleika or kenke. So uh, kenke tlakwa siwat. Kenke tlakwa siwat. Siwat Timayana. Uh, Timayana Tima. means you, you are hungry. Siwat Mayana. Ah, Kena. Okay, Siwat Mayana. Uh huh. Siwat Tlaqua Pampa Mayana. Kena. If you add that T, you, you're saying you are hungry. But here, Siwat Tlaqua Pampa Mayana. Quali. Kenke or Tleika Tlacat Tlaoni. Kenke Tlaoni Tlacat. Laka tlaoni pampa amiki. Kena. Laka tlaoni pampa amiki. This is literally saying is dying for water. <laughs> Miki is dying and a is at amiki, dying for water. There's also a parallel with apis miki. Uh, I mean, I, I, we use the word mayana, but there's an alternative, which is apis miki, which also means dying of hunger. Apis miki. Anyways. Konetsin kochi, kenke, kenke kochi konetsin, kenke. Or tleika uh, kochi konetsin. Konetsin kochi pampa kochki. Kochmiki. 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 And this is literally dying of sleep, but it means sleepy. Dying of sleep, but sleepy. Quali. All right. So, yeah, that was the exercise. Um, Kenihki. Okay. This word kenihki, it means how. And you've, you've seen it multiple times, many times. Kenihki. So that's the question, how. But actually this word kenihki, it's really, uh, it's a really an addition of two words. The word ken, which means how, and ihki. Ihki means like this. So I actually have it right there, ihkin. Ihkinin and ihkinon. So really when we say it in our variety, we're literally saying like, how like this, how like this. And I think it's because it's, it just became one word in the Huasteca region, but other, word, other varieties don't say kenihki, they just say ken, Q-U-E-N. So really the word is ken or kenin, ken or kenin. It means how in other varieties, ken or kenin. But in our variety, the ihki got stuck to it somehow and they say kenihki. How this? How like this? <laughs> They're saying like, how like this? But um, to say like this, it's ihkinin, like this. And if you want to say like that, you would say ihkinon. In Spanish, there's no actual translation for ihkinin versus ihkinon. So in Spanish, they both translate as así. But in English, you have the differentiate between like this and like that. Ihkinin, ihkinon. If you remember, or maybe I'm not sure if I ever taught you, inin means this, right? But inon means that. I think I did do a lecture on inon, inin and inon. I don't remember. I think I did one on, on uh, locations. Um, ooh, keski does not mean someone. I miss, um, no, keski means how many, how many. That's what I meant right there, how many. Keski is how many as a question. Maybe I should put it as a question. Keski, or let's put it here. Keski. 
Esky is how many? We probably could do a lesson on, on counting again, and then I could ask you Keski, or I probably already did it. Okay. And uh, Catalilla, it means which, like which one? And you know how I told you that it, um, some varieties of now what they say, Tlen, um, uh, Tlen Nikpia, the thing that which I have, Tlen Nikpia, well, some might not say, they might not say Tlen Nikpia, they might say Katlia Nikpia or Katli Nikpia because they're saying it as witch, witch right here, Katlia. So if you see Katlia, it translates as a witch. So which one, Katlia Tikpia, which one do you have, etc. And otherwise, they don't have that, yeah, they just say Katli or Katle. Katle or Katli, which, uh, whichever, this is the exception. You would think it would be Katliya Weli for whichever, but they say San Katliya. This is the exception. You don't say Katliya Weli. And if you want to say which, uh, in, oh, can Weli? Oh, in whichever way, in whichever way. This one, this whichever is like whichever one you want, like object versus Kenweli is in whatever manner. I guess I should have said like manner here, but I put it as whichever way, in whichever manner, like however you want to do it. Kenweli. All right, in summary, <laughs> the whole class is who, what, when, where, why. Um, it's Ahkia, who, Tlen, what, Keman, when, where, Kanin, Tleika or Kenke, why, and Keniki, how, who, when, when, where, why, how. I didn't want to put how because it would get too long as a, as a title. <laughs> but essentially, this is where you could come away from it. I put a lot of words in there. I don't expect you to know them all right away, but use them for your homework because I'm going to ask you questions and put, um, ask you to translate into those phrases so that you can learn how to use them because it's too much to learn too quickly. But I want to put as much information in the slide for you to be able to review. Uh, and like I said, I'm, we're going to take a six week break. And then after that, I'll come back and in next, in course number two, I'm going to focus more on tenses. So I'm going to teach you, I'm going to just go tense by tense, past tense, different types of past tense, future tense, conditional tense, all those tenses. There's other tenses that Nahuatl has a uh, directional and that um, I guess Spanish and English they don't have, but they're pretty easy. And that's where I'm going to cover in course number two. I'm gonna change the, the format. I'm gonna have at the beginning of those, I'm gonna have like a story. So I'm gonna write a story and then we're gonna read it with like pictures. It's gonna be like a picture story. <laughs> and then towards the last half, I'm gonna add the grammar. But at the beginning, it's just gonna be a story that I'm gonna ask you questions about. And then, so hopefully you'll bring, you know, your thinking. And uh, that's what that's the plan for course number two. Any tlatlani, oh. I don't know why I have this in there. Any tlatlani listly. Let me remove the slide. It shouldn't be in there. Delete slide. Okay. There we go. All right. Tlasokamati miak and no momashtikawan, pampa ni ni tlamashtilis miak, nech palewi, i nech palewi ke miak. Tlawen y olpacto pampa ni elki y mo tlamachtica. Juan niknekiskia y mo juantin ma mo machtican a chiyok. Thank you everyone um, for being uh, my students and thank you for helping me actually learn more by teaching. And also, um, I am very happy to be your teacher and I want you to all to learn a lot or to learn more. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll see each other in six weeks, which is April 30th. So April 30th will be the next uh, session. For the people who are regularly in my class, you know, send me your email so that I make sure that I email you specifically because I may or may not change the code. Because what I want to do for the next sessions is make them live on my YouTube. 
um, so that other people who are my, I have about 6,000 followers now. It turns out, I don't know how that happened, but I have 6,000 followers. And so what I want to do is I want to have the classes live still on Zoom, but then be able to broadcast them on YouTube. But since I'm using somebody else's account, I can't really do that. So I might get my own account and then have the classes live on YouTube so that people can ask me questions on YouTube. Since 6,000 people follow me, they'll get the notification and I'll get as many questions as possible. And that's the plan for next in on April 30th. That's the plan. All right. And it would be the same time, correct? 7 p.m.? Yep, 7 p.m. on a Friday. I have a question. Do you have any suggestions how we can get more people in our group, our study group? Mm -hmm. No. Right? You no. mean you mean like um I don't know. If you post it on your Facebook, would you think that would you want me to? Because I can. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Um I don't know. What do you think, Adrian? I think that's a good idea since you're taking your sabbatical. Uh, you could just say, hey, you've got a well, study I could, group I could in the meantime. Like, hey, in the meantime. Yeah, I could. Yeah, um, what, what, who wants to give me like the details of what, um, what I should give, uh, what I should tell people? Um, let's see. Because who do I put as the contact? I'll, I'll be the contact since I'm using, I'm, I'm operating the Zoom. Okay. And I, I, have to, I have to get it set up. And we're going to do seven o'clock on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And actually, because California is changing this Sunday. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, so even at East Coast, <laughs> people will be 9 o'clock, 7 o'clock, not true. 10 o'clock. That'll be good. So mm -hmm. I, James De La Rosa, uh, it's De La Rosa James 8 at gmail.com. That's my email. Mm -hmm. okay, so you, you, you're okay with me posting that publicly? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So type it in the chat so that I can not, just copy not, and paste it so I don't make not, mistakes. Not publicly, like in a bathroom, but yeah. <laughs> like on my page, I have a lot of followers. <laughs> I'm going to say, look, if you're a beginner learner and you want uh, a study group, here's a, a free study group that you can join. Contact James De La Rosa. Very good. Yes. Something like that. Yes. And then in the meantime, hopefully you all have learned enough that you can teach them. <laughs> and um, if you have random questions, put them on the YouTube video on this one. And then I'll answer them, uh, you know, on a QA and a session or I'll actually directly type it in there. Depends on how I feel. <laughs> I, have a, I have a quick question. If it's too long to answer, don't answer it. Okay. Um, is that Adrian sent us a, a link to a Jesus movie, right? And they're, and they're always saying Yaya in there somewhere. I'm like, what the heck is the Yaya part? Uh-huh. So it's, it's probably, it's the tense Yaya. So it means used to do. Oh. So nitlakwaya, nitlakwa is I eat, nitlakwayaya, I used to eat. Uh -huh. um, and that's one of the past tenses of Nahuatl. It's, it's equivalent to iba in Spanish or asia. Uh -huh. So comia is nitlakwayaya. Okay, well, thank you. Gracias. Lazo <laughs> kamati. I mean, ya is also everywhere in the language. And so it may not be exactly that, but that's probably the, what you're hearing a lot because in that Jesus movie, they're talking about the past of things that happened or were thought to have happened. Yeah. Enjoy your break. <laughs> I need it, seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna actually try to have uh, some classes ahead of time, like not just one, like two or three ahead of it, so that that way they're always on time. <laughs> that's the plan. But I definitely need a break. <laughs> yeah. You deserve a break. Yes. You definitely do. Chill out. My 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 job is getting so busy, so crazy busy. It's I like dream about my job. It's terrible. <laughs> but you're making all that money. <laughs> I know. I mean, yes, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm a pharmacist. I could make good money. So it's worth it, but at the same time. It's stressful. Being a pharmacist is stressful. You're gonna you're gonna invite us on your yacht when the class is over, right? <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> I wish. No. <laughs> I can't swim. Well, I can, but I can't. I can't trade water, but I can swim. <laughs> so I can swim with the floaty. <laughs> but all right, any other questions? I, I know I haven't finished the, the homework. That's another thing that I need to catch up on, which is another reason I need the break. I'll, I'll catch up on the homework 
and then I'll also make the, this last one more of a review, like an overall review of the whole course. So I'm gonna put things from all over the, the course and it's gonna be longer. That's the, that's one of the things I need to catch up on. I also Sounds had a good. good question. Maybe you all can um, do homework together or I heard some good plans. I, I had a quick question about the homework. Um, mm -hmm. Are we well? What I've been doing is I've just been kind of um just copying it onto um I just print it out and I've been just writing it out. Mm -hmm. Um, are we supposed to be also turning that in for you to be able to um to grade or is it okay um the, the way I'm doing it already? Well, you you have the answers so you can compare your answers, but you're right. There are some, there's some like you know there's differences in po other alternative answers. I try to only put one because it's too much work to put every possible answer. Right now, I'm not correcting anything only because if I were to say, yeah, send me your homework, imagine how crazy and how many homeworks I could potentially get. And since you're not getting credit, I mean, I feel like, well, I shouldn't be overwhelmed with grading. But if you have a serious question of like, hey, is this right or wrong? I say first, ask your friends who you're going to be in your study group with. And if you all can't figure it out, then ask me directly okay. about that question. Okay. Timoitase. Timoitase. Okay, <laughs> April 30th, Timoitase. Um, make sure right now you type in your email here so I can for sure not forget to email you the code in the future in case you're busy and you don't see my announcement. But it should be April 30th unless something happens, which I don't think so, but we can't see the future. So just type in your email here on the chat. And if no other question, Timoitase, Shimomo Kuitla Wikan, take care of yourselves. Shimomashika uh, Miak, study a lot. And Timoitase. All right. Kuali. Okay. Thank you so much. I will see you in a couple weeks. Six weeks. Timoitase. Get rest. Get lots of rest. Oh, sleep so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Timoitase.